money as a champion Generate the feeling of a champion What's happening brothers and sisters? I'm Oscar Nedukeon. Welcome to Superman Alpha High Powered Health. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my favorite Bahamian vegan treat. Now this treat consists of four ingredients. Definitely, we're going to show you. We have cinnamon. We have sapa dili. This is grown in the Bahamas all over the place. It's dili season, baby. I love dilis. Next, sea salt and almonds. So, the only thing you're going to need is a food processor. And guess what? We are ready to go. Let's begin. So, what you basically want to do is, number one, you want to get a half cup of almonds. Now, based upon uh, what you're serving, if it's going to be for two, you're going to use a full cup. If it's for one person, you're going to use a half cup. So, we're going to put it in the bag here and shake out enough. That's about a half cup. Okay. Decompress the air out of your almond bite. Now, next, we're going to put it into the food processor. We're just going to pour it in here. We're going to use this chopping blade so that we can get it into what we call crumbles. Okay, so we're going to do this. Press it. Now you could uh, continue to chop it based upon the consistency and texture you want. If you want it fine and granular, you can do so by allowing the food processor to run a bit longer. If you want it a bit more crunchy and have more texture, therefore you could pulse for less. Okay. Okay. There we have it. That's the consistency I like because I want a bit of a crunch. All right. We're gonna use our dessert bowl and we're going to put it into this cup here while we wait put it into this cup uh, the reason why I like almonds is number one they are one of the best sources of saturated fats proteins vitamin E and also this is like one of my, my second protein source on a vegan diet I know a lot of vegans that tend to eat soy and a lot of other things but I do not eat any of those I'm what you call an unprocessed vegan because I believe in getting the ingredients in its natural state best as possible and preparing the meals yourself. So, we're just going to whip that up, put it there, we're going to put this back in here. And once we have our almonds grated up in the food processor, the next step is to get our sapo dili. Now, if you're not familiar with sapo dili, this is a, an abundant, uh, I would call it a fruit in the Bahamas. It is very sweet. If you ever want to think about what sapa dili tastes like, it's not, think about a date, a date mixed with like a, a apple pie. That's what a, a sapa dili is like. So I'm just gonna literally cut it in half. Let's smell it to make sure. Wow, this is sweet. Now with the sapa dili, it literally has seeds in between it. So you have to be very careful. I will see this, it just tastes a bit. Okay, it's pretty good. We're gonna take all the seeds because we don't wanna chop those up. So this one has this is with the seed. Mm, this is what the seed look like. Okay, so we're just gonna take out all the seeds so that we won't be eating any seeds. We're gonna leave the skin on because the skin is very good and nutritious. And we are taking out all the seeds still. And all the seeds out, so we're gonna put it back in the food processor. This in the food processor. And we're gonna get that into what we call like a a pie consistency. Now this is the second one. This one is also ripe. So we're gonna just chop off the head here and we're gonna cut it in half. Mm -mm, this one is lathering with like literally sweet uh, texture, okay? We're gonna put it in the food processor as well. Make sure to take out all the seeds. You don't wanna have a hard time building it in the food processor. And I would say, I'm gonna make a video on mm -mm, that's why behind here. Tools that all vegans should have, okay? So once you have that in there, we're gonna run it and get it into that consistency type of paste um, texture. Let's begin. Let's make sure that there are no more seeds in here. 
Okay, none. 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 Okay, everything seems fine. Now, you can pick the text you want. I'm going to show you the text I choose. Okay, that should be enough for me. Now, this is the texture I like because it reminds me of like apple pie. So we're just gonna use our handy dandy spatula and we're gonna put it in this plate, okay? So now if you wanna take this to the next level, you also can make uh, coconut bits, okay? And uh, not just coconut bits, you could um, probably get some like strawberries and put it right into the juicer or the food processor and you can have like a little uh, strawberry or blueberry paste and it'll make even more sweet and much more of a treat. Okay, just be careful of that. Okay, now we're gonna continue using a spatula. The reason why you wanna use a spatula because compared to a spoon, a spatula can flex. So by it flexing, we are a better able to make sure that we can get out uh, everything instead of a lot of things being wasted in the dish pan. All right, so right now, we are done with that. What we're gonna do next is take our spoon and just smear it over. You see how look? Right now, the sapodilly gives you this bit of a, what we call like a, like a pie type consistency. So we're just gonna use our art skills here and we're gonna like form it a bit. As you can see, we're forming it into a pie. I'm just gonna polish it, polish it on top, okay? Polish it on top. See how, how, how is that? And it has a really crusty taste because that's the texture of the Sapa Dilly uh, skin, okay? Now, now we got a little high texture. We're gonna put the almonds and we're gonna sprinkle some on top. All right. Sprinkle some almonds on top. Now, that's basically our dessert there. But now, we are not done yet. What we're gonna do for taste enhancers, we're gonna add some cinnamon, all right? So we want grounded cinnamon. We could sprinkle a bit, make sure our hands are not too heavy. Uh, trust me, this thing it tastes amazing. Okay, and we're gonna put a little bit of sea salt, which happens to give us a bit of taste. So, that's a little bit sprinkle. Hold on, let me do it properly. You see that? Okay, so basically, there you have it. A dessert that's not cooked or burnt, it's, like I say, you could call this a raw vegan uh, nutritious meal and it's tasty. Now we're gonna do the taste test. Okay, now we're done with our little treat and we have to do our taste test. Mrs. Rue, what's happening, Rue? Hi, I'm good, thank you, Alexander. Okay, good. Now we're gonna allow you to taste this dessert. This literally took me like less than uh, two minutes to create. Now I want you to be completely honest. Tell the people what you're experiencing. First of all, look at it, tell me what is your uh, thoughts about it so far from the view? First of all, it looks very scrumptious. Truly speaking, I like things that are soft. Uh huh. Except, you know what, you know. Okay. So, we've been a saucy secret. Okay. But when it comes to dessert, like when we eat dessert, I like things that are smooshy. Okay, all right? cool. Only food. Good. Okay, folks? Okay, good. Now, I want you to do a smell test. I want you to smell it and let me know. Oh my goodness, people! Cinnamon, my favorite. Forgive me, I put cinnamon in almost everything. And, oh, that smells. Okay, good. I'm filled already just from the cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, like you live on, man should not live on uh, smell alone except for women. Okay, now, you can dive in. Um, um, take it away. So I'm looking forward to this. Because the smell already gave it away, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, let's see. There we go, folks. Let's All right, try it. no added sugar, no preservatives. Let me be quiet so you can do a test. Mmm, mmm. I'll be mm. honest now. What does it taste like? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> a little sweet, a little salty, a little bit of everything. And crunchy too. I like things that are crunchy also. Uh -huh. Soft, crunchy, and sweet. Uh -huh. Folks, Vince, as soon as Alexander turned his back, I'm grabbing his plate and I'm running with this. Yeah, I'm actually. Gonna, I'm going to take <laughs> one more time just in case you give me one more taste. Yeah, you can get another taste. Actually, you could take half. I'm going to eat half as well. Folks, there we go. Whatever's on top of this, um, this is. Um, pieces of what almond? Yeah, this, this almond. And only, only four ingredients. We have sapodilly, 
almond, sea salt, and cinnamon. That's all. Mm -mm. Now, would you recommend this particular treat to anyone? Yes? Yes, I would. Okay, and this is... You all heard him. I can say half, right? Right, right half. I half. better do that Slice now. your half now, because um, I'm about, I'm about to dive in. I'm about to dive in. Folks, I think I'm doing it fairly. That's half right there. I think that's half. Have you already finished eating all that? It says so that's actually more than half. But all right, okay. So there you have it, folks. Mask and Night for Suman Alpha. Eating healthy can be uh, fun. Okay, you don't have to think that you're gonna sacrifice taste uh, because you're eating healthy. Um, as a matter of fact, I use four ingredients, all in, um, natural ingredients per se, and we're able to make something so delicious as this. Um, please rate this on a scale of one to ten. 11. Sorry. He said 1 to 10, right? Okay. 10. Okay. See? Ten. 11. So, there you have it. What I want to do is help Bahamas to start realizing that their health is the greatest wealth and that there are so many strategies you can apply, especially um, even being a vegan. I've been vegan over six months. I've gained tons of muscle, as you've seen. And it's amazing that you don't need meat and you need to learn how to do this properly. If you need help, learn how to do this properly. I have a book coming out, um, Top 5 Mistakes Vegans Make. I also have a worker program, so look out, Superman Alpha, health, fitness is what we're about, because without health, your wealth and money means nothing. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, and see you in the next one. Wake up in the morning.